Hey, this is Josh over at Silencer Central. Today, I'm gonna to help go over how to take apart and clean your Banish 46. A lot of people have been asking about how to do this and there's a few things you might get hung up on, so I wanna make sure to make things crystal clear. So to start, there's a few tools that you're gonna need. You need your takedown tool, your Torx wrench, the baffle removal tool, and the special Banish 46 adapter, so that way you can easily break down the Banish 46. To start, you're gonna to wanna to do a few things. One, you'll need to get off your extension piece. It's probably not gonna come off this easily once you've shot, because there's gonna be some carbon fouling. So what you'll wanna do is wait for everything to completely cool, or you can get yourself some rubber strap wrenches, give you a little bit of extra torque to be able to take everything apart. Set aside your piece here over here. You take your baffle removal tool and your baffle removal tool adapter piece. Screw this right on here. Attach your little brass plunger, that's the correct size. You'll take off your mounting plate. So that might be your direct thread mount, your muzzle brake mount, or even your piston mount. You wanna make sure that it's nice and open, just like this. So once you have your baffle removal tool attached, you're actually gonna take the black rod here, start spinning that. That'll actually push all these baffles out so you can easily clean it. You notice that there's going to be seven baffles in this section. Six of them are gonna look identical, and those are the 100% titanium ones. The other is going to be a ported blast baffle that's made of Inconel, so you'll notice that this one will have a different pattern. That's always gonna be the one that's gonna go in first. Then from there, on your extension tube, you're gonna take your takedown tool, your Torx wrench, you're gonna open this up, and there's gonna be two additional baffles inside of this. You notice that they are gonna be 100% titanium and they will look slightly different than the other baffles that you have in the regular stack. So that way you'll know these ones do not have the keyhole or the mouse hole. So those ones are the, one, the ones that are gonna go in the extension tube. Once you have all of your baffles out, there's a few different ways that you can actually clean them. One way is gonna be using any gun solvent that you normally use in a nylon brush. A lot of people will use hoppies, CLP, or whatever gun solvent that you like to use yourself for cleaning your guns or the way that I prefer to do it, making things nice and easy is actually using a ultrasonic cleaner. Basically you have your sonic solution, put the baffles in there, set it to go, let that do all the muscle work for you. And once they're all finished, you'll take them out, you'll dry them off. And again, you wanna make sure to get everything in the correct order. And that's going to be having all of your titanium baffles together, just like this. Your Inconel blast baffle, and then I always like to make this as easy as I can on myself. Take this, slide it right over the top. Put on your direct thread mount, piston mount, or your muzzle brake mount for the breech side. Flip it over and then you're going to assemble the extension tube. So you can put that right on here. Put in your two baffles. And then make sure to screw this back on using your Torx wrench and your takedown tool. When putting this all back together, you wanna to make sure that you're not able to see any of the O-rings. I like to call them the no-go rings. If you can see the orange in either spot, that means it's not put together correctly and you'll need to try again. And that was a brief overview on how to disassemble, clean, and reassemble your Banish 46. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach us online at silentreceptor.com or give us a call. Thanks for watching.